will present one of the elements in the marketing mix, which is product. The food we choose is satay. Satay is one of the famous traditional food in Malaysia. This satay has wide variety such as meat, chicken, lamb, and fish. Also, this satay is served with peanut sauce and nasi impit. The taste is sweet, a little bit spicy, and is a lal product, so that everyone can enjoy this food. Next is the packaging. The packaging we use for soup our satay is polystyrene box and PE type plastic material. The polystyrene box we will use for delivery order and the PE type plastic material for frozen satay. The function of the packaging is make the food is durable, no spill and safe. Next is marketing mix for price. First, the price for each satay is RM2 ringgit. Moving on to the competitive pricing, often price usually influence the consumer in decision making. Next, the demand and market. Our product is using monopolistic competition, which the marketers that offer the same products in the same industry, but with different prices, branding, and marketing. Finally, is cost. A company should put a price that best on the sale. There's two different costs, which is fixed cost and change cost. Fixed cost is rent and wages, while on the other hand, the change cost is the price of the ingredients of satay. The last marketing mix is place. Our satay can be found in pasar, restaurant, or food court. You guys also can buy frozen satay from online stores like Shopee and from supermarket. I'm going to present the promotion of our satay. We have, we have used several ways to promote our satay. First, through commercial video. It is used to create awareness of our satay and attract many new customers. Second, we also sold satay at night market around 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. Third, we also promote our satay on social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We post anything related to the, to the satay, for example, when we offer discount. Fourth, we also provide delivery food on certain time. Customer can buy our satay through online applications such as GrabFood and Food Panda. The last one, we also sell satay on at store, uh, the frozen satay, so customer can buy it anytime they want. I would like to present about the history of satay. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the English word satay is derived from the Malay word satay. Also, satay or satay in Indonesian, ultimately originating from Tamil Chatai, which is a regional variant of Tachai meaning flesh. The term is mentioned as satay in Dutch with one of Elias' photographs of satay seller appeared around 1870 in Java Dutch East Indies. The usage in English was first certified in 1917 with reference to a satay seller in Singapore. Later, a mention of satay in Denpasar, Bali appeared in 1937, with a description of Malay's cooking satay appearing in 1955. Satay may have de been developed by Japanese street vendors as an adaptation of kebabs from the Indian subcontinent. Although both Thailand and Malaysia claim it as their own, its southeast Asian origin was in Java, Indonesia. Their satay was developed from the Indian kebab brought by the Muslim traders. Even India cannot claim its origin, for there, it was a legacy of Middle Eastern influence. Next, the introduction of satay was considered with an influx of Indians and Arab traders and immigrants starting in the 18th century. The Indonesian publication Koran Jakarta claimed that satay is originated from Javanese terms, which is sabenteng, which means one stick, and trace its exact origin to the area which is today Ponorogo Regency East Jawa. And satay has existed as earlier in the 15th century. From Jawa, Satay has spread to the Malay archipelago. As a consequence, numerous variations of the satay have been developed. By the late 19th century, satay has crossed the Straits of Malacca into neighboring Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand. In the 19th century, the satay term was known as society, but Malay immigrants from the Dutch East Indian to South Africa. The Indo-Dutch people took the satay, as well as many other Indonesian specialties, to the Netherlands, thereby influencing Dutch cuisine. And that's all from me.
The originality of satay. The earliest preparation of satay is believed to have originated in Javanese cuisine, but has spread to almost anywhere in Indonesia, where it has become a national dish. Indonesia satay is often served with peanut sauce, a sauce made from peanut butter, and is often accompanied with lontong, a type of rice cake. Though the diversity of the country has produced a wide variety of satay recipes. Sate kajang is a generic name for a style of satay where the meat chunks are bigger than normal and the sweet peanut sauce is served along with a portion of fried chili paste. Given its popularity, the sate of kajang is now found throughout Malaysia. Stalls and restaurants around kajang offer not only the more traditional chicken or beef satay, but also more exotic meats such as venison, rabbit or fish as well as dessert, liver and several other variations. Next, the locality of satay. Satay is a grilled meat dish famous throughout Southeast Asia. Indonesia is thought to be the true birthplace of satay, but the dish was carried to surrounding countries including Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, and others. Satay can be made from various meats. Meat commonly used includes chicken, lamb, goat, beef, and many more. Chicken is most common, but other meats are frequently used. The skewers used for chicken satay are traditionally made from lidi, a meat rib of coconut fronds. Bamboo skewers might be used instead. Turmeric is required to marinate satay to give the dish its characteristic yellow color. Finally, satay may be served with a spicy peanut sauce dip or peanut gravy served with slices of lontong or ketupat which is rice cakes garnished with a sprinkle of fried shallot and accompanied by pickles consisting of silvers of onions, carrots and cucumbers in vinegar, salt and sugar solution. Satay is a meat dish marinated with spices and made from pieces of meat that are pricked on a coconut skewer and then roasted over a charcoal fire until crisp. There are several characteristics of satay such as the feature valued by the public are the tenderness and the flavor of the satay meat. The meat that is often used is a chicken and beef that are marinated so that the spices are mixed with the meat. There are many ingredients used to make satay spices such as turmeric powder, salt, and so on. The next feature that is evaluated by the public is the deliciousness of peanut gravy, which has a spicy, fatty, and sweet taste that is delicious and unique, suitable to be eaten with satay and nasi ipit during the festival season or as a daily dish. The last feature of satay is that satay is also eaten with nasi ipit. The taste of nasi ipit is suitable to be eaten with peanut gravy and satay. Types of satay. There are many types of satay that we can find, such as beef satay, rabbit satay, pedal satay, fish satay, chicken satay, goat satay, and pork satay, which is its non-halal. There are varieties of satay that we can see as the picture below. Satay padang are commonly referred to as padang satay from Minangkabau, and it was made from the beef cut into small pieces with spicy sauce on top. Secondly, satay Madura. Satay Madura is the type of satay that originating from the island of Madura in Indonesia. This type of satay is different from most other type of satay since the meat is cut into thinner chunks than usual. Thirdly, satay kambing muda tegal. Tegal satay or tegal goat satay is a satay from Tegal Slawi and the surrounding are made of goats or young goats arranged on skewers from bamboo combined with a fat and liver or kidneys. Next, satay kambing runting is a goat satay derived from Duku runting in the Pati district. Satay makassar is made of deep beef and intense of cows roasted with a variety of fine-tuned seasoning. Satay ponorogo is a traditional Indonesian type of satay originating from ponorogo in East Jawa. This type of satay is made with chicken that marinated in a many combinations.